Rise and shine like Ben. Are you ready to kickstart this Friday with a bang? I'm Abby, your enthusiastic host for today's roller coaster of updates. And I'm Ian, giving you the view. This is Lakeview TV. In Mr. Meyer's women's body conditioning class, the Rockin' Raiders finally own the crowns. Congratulations to the team leaders, Corinthia, Elena, Andrea, Emily, Rowan, and Grayson. Keep rocking those workouts, ladies. Would you like to participate in exciting school events while also helping improve our school? The Student Council is now accepting applicants for the 24-25 school year. Applica applications have been sent to every student's email. To apply, simply complete and submit the Google form contained in the email sent out to everyone. Attention seniors, Senior Award Night is Wednesday, May 8th in the auditorium at 7 p.m. You should be dressed professionally. Awards given out are the academic awards from the staff, honor cords for the students who have a 3.0 GPA or higher, and scholarship recipients for the Lake Fenton's local scholarships. If you have received an invitation, that means you really need to be there to accept your scholarship. We know that FAFSA has just recently released your information to your schools. If you need to update your senior info form, you can do that online or see your counselor to get the updated award information to them. Those additional scholarships will be announced when you receive your cords or separately if you are not receiving cords. Attention seniors, we currently are missing over 100 senior decision slides. Slides are due to your English teacher by today. NHS is hosting its last blood drive May 9th to try and help the lean summer months where blood supply is low. If you are 16 or older, please consider donating to help save lives right here in Michigan. And since this also raises scholarship money for NHS members, we are offering an, an incentive in a drawing for a $20 gas card to one lucky donor from LFHS, not the community bus. Tickets will be given on donation day to present donors for the drawing. Sign-ups are during lunch and QR codes will be located around the building. If you are 16, you must get a permission slip located in the office and during sign-ups, signed by your guardian to donate. Thanks LF for all the past blood donations. Let's end the strong for the year. Attention all physics students. Please submit your permission slips and $90 today to Mrs. Miller. Turn these items in immediately. If you are thinking about a career in carpentry, masonry, landscaping, construction, or road repairs, listen up. Next Tuesday, May 7th, join Mrs. Copico for a 90-minute tour of Curbco's facility and learn about apprenticeships they have to offer. See Ms. Copico for details and to pick up a permission form. Now for prom updates. Students, please check your emails for very important prom information. First, M15 will be very busy due to a community garage sale event you may want to take an alternate route. Doors will open at 6.30 and close at 7.45. No one may enter after this time. If you leave the event, you may not re-enter. Seating is first come, first serve. Plan to arrive with your entire party to avoid seating issues. All dance rules were handed out with tickets and must be followed at prom. If you are planning on taking pictures at Bicentennial Park in Grand Blanc, we have been told it is closed to the public on Saturday. We can't wait to see you there. Now to sports with Savannah and Riley. Hi, I'm Riley. And I'm Savannah, and these are your varsity sports. Your girls varsity softball team took on Powers in a doubleheader on Wednesday and won the first game 4-1, to one, where Maddie Stan pitched a stellar game, striking out four batters and not giving up any earned runs. Parker Beardsley led the team in offense with two hits. Additionally, Avery Heil, Justin DeMonico, Mia Merrill, and Reagan Barden each contributed one hit. In the second game, they swept Powers away with a score of 16-1. to one. Avery Stanton took the mound and delivered a solid performance, striking out three batters and allowing only one earned run. Avery Stanton also helped her own cause with a triple and a single. Lydia Slater had an outstanding game with a double, a single, and an impressive four RBIs. Lorena Bale also made a significant impact with a double, a single, and three RBIs. Avery Heil contributed with two sing singles. Great job, ladies. On Wednesday, your boys' varsity baseball team won their first game 11-0 with Bryce Fogel, Clay Cook, J.J. Lavalier, and Carson Lewis all having two hits. In the second game, they won 13-3 with J.J. Lavalier and Sam Shoemaker leading the team with three hits. Great job, guys. They'll play Saturday morning at home at 10. Be sure to come out and support. 
Finally, any senior athlete signing to play at the next level, there was an email sent out with the Google form. Please fill it out to RSVP for signing day on May 16th. That's a wrap for today, Blue Devils. And for all those attending prom, be sure to have fun this weekend. Now please, stand tall for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.